everyone, welcome to Jehu Crochet. I'm Reggie and this is Yarniversity. <laughs> yes, Yarniversity on Monday. Uh, I must apologize for yesterday. Um, yeah, things didn't quite work out um, the way I have planned them and I wasn't able to um, to be here in time <laughs> for your university to be back home uh, in time for your university so I had to um, to postpone the class I didn't want to cancel it completely and um, I have things um, planned uh, for for the next couple of weeks you guys know that I am pretty much drowning in stuff <laughs> um, so I did I didn't want to start postponing changing plans and so on um so i thought that we'll just have your university on monday um for a change <laughs> uh don't worry this is not going to be um something uh that happens often not not if it's up to me anyway i i really do prefer having your university on sundays um hi everyone who is here welcome um i'm very happy that you could join me today even though it's not our original time um so hello 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 and thank you for joining thank you for everyone joining live and ev thank you for everyone uh watching the replay um regardless uh if you're here with us right now or if you're watching it on replay please don't forget to give this video a th thumbs up uh using that like button down below um and if you haven't yet, please uh, subscribe to the channel uh, using the subscribe button down below. Or you can also uh, press the join button and join our uh, inner circle, our top students, um, and uh, be part of the membership program and enjoy some perks that uh, other viewers on the channel don't get. So hi to everyone. Hi, hi. I see Amaris. Amaris is saying good afternoon. So I assume you are somewhere in my side of the world. Let us know where you're from. From. and hello Roberta and Andrea hi and Debbie's here good to see you Debbie and hello to Amy and Lucy good to see you and hi Carrie good to see you hello to Canada um thank you yes the channel hit uh, 8,000 subscribers this week ah <laughs> um I'm very happy thank you all for you know being a part of that. Hi, Christy. Good to see you here. Hello, hello. I'm from the Czech Republic. Um, and hello to Catherine. Good morning to you and Lori. Hi. And hello to Kim from Affordably Crafty. Thank you very much. <laughs> um, and hi to Sarit from Las Vegas. <laughs> I'm starting to remember things, guys. I'm starting to remember. <laughs> um good to see you all i'm happy that you could join even though we are not on our original time um and yeah if you're watching this on replay uh thanks for watching the replay i appreciate uh that i know there are some people who always watch on replay i see um from the comments and uh, it makes me very happy to know that even though you can't be with us on our normal um your university time you you still watch the replay it makes me happy um hello to Sindra, el, pa el paso texas oh yeah um howdy <laughs> good to see you all here um yeah, so for those of you who are new here, hi, I'm Reggie. This is my channel, Jehu Crochet, and this is Yarniversity. Yarniversity is a live class about a different yarn or crochet related subject, and it takes place every Sunday at 6 p.m. Berlin time, because I live in Germany. And um, today it is actually taking place on Monday, <laughs> 6 p.m. Berlin time, because, um, yeah, as I've said, I could not be uh, i couldn't have been here yesterday i didn't make it uh back home in time uh, my plans didn't quite go uh the way i have planned them but that happens uh, it happens more often <laughs> lately because you know the big move <laughs> um as you can see the cabinets are almost empty I'm almost there. Um, everything that's in the cabinets right now are things that are going to go in mystery bags. Um, so, you know, if anyone was planning on mystery bags, there's going to be a few more coming up uh, on the Etsy sh uh, shop. Um, I think I looked before I came on because I knew people will ask me. There was one still on the Etsy shop from the last update. Um, and the rest will be coming on the Etsy shop um, sometime this coming week and then that will be it <laughs> for now um 
ラッキーベイガーズ。Really? You're moving back to? When?、Um, hi, Mocha. Hi, hi. Good to see you.、Um, hello to Christina. Good to see you here. Hi, D. e e Hi, hi, hi. Hi, everyone.、Um, yes, Debbie, thank you for posting the picture.、Uh, Debbie posted a picture on the Facebook group of the yarn that she、uh, got in her mystery bag.、Um, and she liked it a lot and it made me very happy. Hi, Claudia. Did you get my package?、Um, Yeah, so things,、uh, things, yeah, a lot of things have happened.、Um, I, I mean, I'm. <sighs> I'm really, really busy these days, as, as you can all imagine. You know, moving is a big, big deal. There's a lot still to be done, and and, and the move is like getting closer every day.、Um, you know, we have a, a flight date, so until then, everything has to be done.、Um, but it, it sometimes. There are days like I feel that I've done so much and I finished the day laying on the couch, so, so tired. And, um, and then, you know, and then I say, wait, but there's still so much left to do. <laughs> and then there are other days when I just I can't get myself to do anything, and then it's even more to do the next day. So it's stress over stress over stress, mountains of stress.、Um, not Fun at the moment, <laughs> and uh, um, and to anyone who who um has been talking to me in the past few weeks and asking how I'm doing, and I said, Not good, <laughs> it's not good, it's not not good that I'm like terrible, yeah, but it's just not good, it's so so stressful. I'm dealing with a lot of stress right now. Hi, Jax, good to see you, Lori. Um, yes, it is a new pattern behind me, and for everyone who volunteered to test that pattern, thank you.、Um, I will be using all of your e s services,、um, but、uh, yeah, that week did not go as I planned, so I did not finish writing up the pattern.、Um, and I, I decided that I'm not going to pick. Shawl testers. I'm just gonna let anyone who everyone who wrote me that they want to test the pattern, I'm gonna let them test, but no new ones. So, anyone who wrote me until today, so, so if you just heard me say it, don't email me. I have enough people、um, who volunteered to test the shawl, and and I i love you all for it. And I'm gonna let all of you test, but no new ones. So, anyone who didn't、uh, write me until today, uh no. <laughs> um Hello, Laurel, and hi, Angela. Um, and hi, Lisa. The boys are right now, they're not quite feeling it as much as as we are. <laughs> right now, you know, they're still going to school and kindergarten, and they see a lot of boxes and they realize that the things are being, you know, shipped and will wait in the new place. But other than that, they don't really, you know, they're a little sad that. They keep saying, you know, they want to spend more time with their friends, and I'm totally fine with that because the more they are at their friend's house, the more time I have to pack here.、Um, they will miss everyone, but、uh, but I'm sure we'll have a lot of fun time on our new adventures.、Um, It is, yeah. Once we are there, I will have a lot less stress and will probably be more happy than stressed. <laughs>、um, hi, Steve. Hello, 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 hello. Hi to everyone coming in. I'm so happy that so many of you could be here,、uh, even though it's not our regular Yarn University time. Hello, Sally.、Um, so I appreciate you all being here.、Um, Yeah, don't forget to hit the thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, subscribe down below.、Um, and、uh, if you want to join the very special membership program and become a part of our inner circle, I already said that, you can、uh, press the join button and enjoy perks that others don't get.、Um, we do have a new member, and I want to say cheers and welcome to Nadia, who joined the membership program over the past week. So, cheers, Nadia. I don't know if you're here right now, but maybe you'll watch it on replay. Cheers to you, and thank you for joining. And I'm looking forward、uh, to seeing you in our upcoming、um, members only chat. And, and if we're talking about members only chat, thank you to all the members who have been、uh, sending me pictures and posting pictures of,、um, of the members only project. 
from uh, this month. Uh, I'm loving all of your pictures. You are doing an amazing work. You all chose such beautiful yarns for the blanket. Um, some of you have already finished and I love the pictures and some of you are still in the middle and some of you have said that um, you have different um, plans already for the finished project. So I'm, I'm really, really excited about all that. That makes me very happy. Um, the pictures are beautiful. I wanted to share some of them today, but yeah life <laughs> i did not have time to uh to bring them up and put up the, you know the picture program and everything i'm sorry i, I promise i will show them uh, another time but uh those of you who want to see them uh, all you gotta do is join the facebook group a lot of the members have been posting the pictures there as well um should be finished with the mom months members only today yay oh i'm looking forward to seeing your finished blanket jacks um if you need some tips we moved around a lot with the kids when they were young uh, best one friend their fun's mom and arrange facetime for the kids <laughs> yeah um we um i mean we have connections with everyone we can still always we can always you know keep in contact with all their friends and everything i'm just it's not that i don't want them to keep in contact i just really want them to also find new friends in a new place <laughs> um Yay, Sarit, that would be awesome. Um, okay, so I have some notices. Um, first of all, uh, last week's winner <laughs> did not contact me. <laughs> I don't know if it's funny or if I should start crying. Um, but I chose a new winner for the set of knitting notions from two weeks ago. If you remember, there were like two knitting pattern um booklets and i'm looking at it because it's right there um the knitting needles the um stitch markers the knitting stitch markers and the darning needle and all the stuff that came with it it was a whole package for for knitters um the person who won did not contact me and they also did not contact me to say that they don't want the prize but since they didn't contact me at all their win is forfeited and I had to choose a new winner. So I went into the comments from the same video and I chose a new winner and the new winner is Rachel King. So Rachel, if you're here right now, say something in the chat so we know that you uh, know that you won. And if you're not with us right now and you're watching it on replay, contact me. My email is in the description box below and please claim your prize because I would really hate to have to choose a third winner for that. Um, also, uh, we had the mystery bag of unclaimed prizes. <laughs> um, if you guys remember, that was the um, prize uh, from last week's Yarniversity. And since normally I draw the winner on Sunday and I give you guys until Sunday to go back and comment. So I chose the uh, winner using the random comment picker for that as well so that we don't have to do it today. Um, and the winner for that is DB, which is Dora. And Dora, if you are watching us right now or if you are watching it on replay, Please co contact me. My email is in the description box below to claim your prize. I know I already have your address because <laughs> uh, I do remember that you won something last year um, sometime. I just remember the name. Um, but uh, still, you have to contact me to claim your prize. So um, Dora and Rachel, uh, email me. My email is in the description box down below. Claim your prizes, please. <laughs> um... And also, as always, we will have a giveaway on today's Yarn University. So before we start, I will already show you, I have another bag of unclaimed prizes. <laughs> and it is, it's full of stuff. You can see that it's quite heavy. Yeah, see? Yeah. Um, and of course, the bag itself is part of the giveaway as well. So you will get this really very awesome project bag, which is kind of like a canvas pattern and on the inside it has um a set of harry potter um themed stitch markers and the fabric inside is harry potter themed fabric so um on the outside it's just you know white with a with a stripe of this 
fabric and on the inside it's all Harry Pottery. <laughs> um, but it but if you're not a Harry Potter fan, the bag is still nice because you know on the outside you don't really see that it's a uh, Harry Potter. And um, here those are all uh, pockets on the inside. See, you can like put stuff in there. There's another small pocket on the other side for like little notions and um there is also a pocket on the inside which i can't show you because the bag is full of stuff and i don't want to show you the mystery things that are inside but there is this hanger for the stitch markers inside as well so the bag itself will also be part of the giveaway and all the unclaimed prizes that i collected which are inside it um and that would be um this week's winner <laughs> so for whoever win after today's live um the way you enter your university giveaway if you're new here uh what you have to do is come back to the video once it goes into replay so after the live is finished um and leave a comment and then next week on your university we choose a winner for that okay so i told you about our new member i told you about the new winner from last week and i told you about uh, the winner from last week that we were supposed to choose yesterday so i chose them yesterday and i told you about that all right next <laughs> hi 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 to everyone coming in thank you for being here i highly appreciate it and please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up hello to camper 14 i do believe i haven't seen your name here before let us know what your name is and we can call you your name um and why why net am i announcing it correctly um um hello question i ordered maze box and i've never ordered before when should i expect it to ship um so the um boxes always ship uh normally around the 20th of the month however since i already have all the things for the may boxes i was hoping to ship them out on monday um you will get a, an etsy uh shipping notification when they are shipped if everything goes well <laughs> um and uh and nothing stands in my way i might even ship them out this week um but if not then coming monday so a week from today they should be shipped um and if you haven't ordered one yet there are only three left um which brings me to my next um hi cheryl hello hi sylvia hi sylvia <laughs> um Tina is your name. I will try to remember that. It might take me a few more times asking you. <laughs> um, pronounce one net. Okay, one net. Um, welcome in. Um, yes. Okay. So, which brings me to my next announcement. There is uh, there wasn't a Mother's Day sale on etsy hi sandy um there was a mother's day sale on etsy where everything was 20 percent off um it didn't finish yet it's still going on until midnight berlin time tonight which is six hours from now so um everything on the etsy shop um is 20 percent off no code needed the discount is automatic um and i'm going to real quick um, take you to the Etsy shop because I want to show you some new things on the shop. Um, all right, so this is my Etsy shop. For those of you who don't know it, that's how it looks. That's the way it looks. Um, so um, as you can see, everything you, you can see it right that everything is twenty percent off. It shows up uh, showed up automatically. Um, so there are a few new things. First of all, there are two new patterns down here. You can see them. Uh, this is wonderful, beautiful Debbie. Um, she is uh, modeling and she is modeling the Camino beanie, which is a crochet beanie pattern as new pattern. Um, and it is here and right next to it is the Atlantis summer hat. Yes, finally, um, I got some people to send me good pictures and uh it's that wonderful hat that i'm wearing right now and beautiful debbie is wearing it in the picture and um that pattern is now on the etsy shop as well also uh here you will find the may pre-order the pre-order for may's yarn club um the wacky holiday yarn club the theme for may is lost sock memorial day i've had a lot of fun creating uh this box and i'm very very happy um 
and I hope that you guys will like it. And of course, the yarn dyer, I've mentioned it a few times, the one who did the um, exclusive colorway for the May box is by Amelie. She did my Hanukkah advent as well, and she did amazing work for those of you who saw me open it every day on Hanukkah. Um, so she is the yarn dyer and there are three boxes still left and if you order them now you will get them 20% off for the next six hours because then the sale ends. Um, right next to the uh, Etsy listing of the pre-order of the May Club you will find our very very own Yarniversity <laughs> pin bag button. So those are um, you know uh, their pins uh, they, they look like little buttons but they are button pins I'm not sure how they I think they are called pin back buttons right um, and they have uh, our signature saying will it sag on them as well as yarn chicken and chains and whips excite me <laughs> um, and you get a set of three one of each and um, you can order them with or without the uh, nice frame so um, those there are very limited <laughs> amount of these um and some have already sold but whatever is still there um is also included in the sale um so those are a few new items on the etsy shop that if you are looking for those because people have been asking me about the hat since the first time i showed it the pattern is now out um, and the new beanie pattern is out and the yarn club is included in the sale so 20% off for the next six hours as well as the new Yarniversity buttons. Now speaking of Yarniversity merch I'm also going to take you to my Teespring shop. For those of you who do not know the Teespring shop down in the description box below along with all the Yarniversity um, links you will find the link to the teespring shop and it says merch <laughs> um and the teespring shop has all kinds of yarn university merch and you can have the yarn university uh symbols printed on different things um so two new designs joined uh the yarn university merch shop of course the will it tag one which i <laughs> I was so excited. Apparently people have been waiting for it because just as soon as I posted on the Facebook and the YouTube <laughs> community tab um, that those are now available, uh, people started buying them <laughs> right away. So I guess there was demand for some Willy Sag merch. Um, so you can get, you can see, you can get the cups in black or in white and you can get stickers as well as Notion pouches. And there is one more new design, um, which is our uh, wonderful hashtag hooking for yarn, uh, which is something that I think we came up with during the What the F Yarniversity. <laughs> and, um, and people said we gotta have it on t-shirts. So now you can order it on t-shirts, on project bags, on notion pouches, on cups, on mugs, on different things. Um, and of course, uh, uh, the signature hoodie um, that uh, if you guys know my Yarniversity hoodie, um, so this is the same hoodie, just, you know, you can have the other print on there. So this is all on the Teespring shop and the link for that is in the description box below. And I remind all of you who are members of the channel, you enjoy 20% off on purchases on teespring as well the discount code is the same discount code that you guys use on the etsy shop it applies for teespring too um, that is only for members of the channel so you also get 20 percent using your special code um, and if some of you are new here and have never seen the merch shop before um, it also has the um, regular yarniversity designs which are our you know yarniversity university shield <laughs> with the yarn um and you can get it printed on different things um and there's also the uh the shield with the crochet hook uh for those of you who prefer it to be you know crochet specific and not just yarn and um then we have also the tangled cat the, the cat that's tangled in a ball of yarn <laughs> yarn university uh, which was also a very popular design when we <laughs> released it um and the 
first um, design, which was the original design of the Yarn University shield with um, the balls of yarns and hooks and needles in them, you know, for all of us who are bisexuals. So um, that is, that was a short tour of the Yarn University merch shop for, um, for those of you who were interested and didn't hear about the new designs. So now you saw them. Um, yeah, so I told you about the Etsy sales, <laughs> I told you about the new patterns on the shop, I showed you the new merch. Um, so I only have one more thing uh, left to talk about, but let's see if anyone, did anyone join us while I was um, blabbering? If you're new here, by the way, like when I talk, I don't look at the chats or any, every time, never now and then I jump back in the chat. So if you uh, ask a question and I missed it, I am not ignoring you. Um, I'm just really bad with keeping up with the chat, so I do it like in parts <laughs> and you can just write your question again um hi anvita good to see you um <laughs> you think you think that's funny yeah that's a two <laughs> um hi 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 to everyone coming in please don't forget to give hit the thumbs up and i'm very happy that you could join us even though we are not on our regular timing um if you've missed the beginning, uh, i've announced two winners um so you know go back and watch the replay to check if it's you this is the Atlantis set. I am now taking it off because I look silly. All right. So, um, one last announcement. Hello to Florida. <laughs> um, hi, Brie. Good to see you. Yeah, so one last thing. Um, I also posted about this um, both on Facebook, on the community tab, and I believe on Instagram as well. Um, I posted pretty much everywhere. I have a few boxes. Um, yes, I've wrapped them in the knit crate boxes because I have a collection. Can you see this behind behind um, Imogen is my collection of knit crate boxes because you guys know I, I get knit crate every month, um, you know, for the past few. Yeah. Um, so I collect the knit crate boxes and um, and they're empty so i decided that i will use them uh for this and what it is is a beanie set so uh i've you know compiled a few sets um from things that that i had over and um each set is different but the jits of it is the same and what you get in the set is a faux fur hand a handmade faux fur pom-pom in some color that matches the yarn which you also get so you get a hank one hank 100 grams of hand dyed yarn um and it is either dk or worsted weight okay so either you will get a 100 grams of dk or you will get 100 grams of worsted anyway it is 100 percent hand dyed sorry I, I don't know why i said 100 it is 100 grams of hand dyed yarn and um they will each of them is different so we get this box is a an example box but each box is different so the colors of the yarn you will get is a surprise because each box is different and the color of the pom-pom is different in each box but it always matches or at least i think it matches the yarn um and with it, you will also get some kind of handcrafted crochet hook. This is just an example, but there are different hooks from different makers. Um, and you will get a handmade stitch marker. Again, this one here is just an example, but there are different ones from different makers. So what it is, it's sort of like a box compiled of different makers because you guys know that for a very long time on my channel, I have featured a lot of different makers and I gathered a lot of stuff. So you get a hang of hand dyed yarn, either worsted weight or DK, and it, it does contain wool. So all of the yarns contain wool. I don't know, they most likely superwash merino nylon blend, but some of them might be other blends, but they contain wool. Handmade faux fur pom-pom. Hook um, and um, stitch marker and some other surprise notions which will vary from one box to the other along with it you will be able to choose one pattern of a beanie from of your choice from my etsy shop so you will also get a pattern with it 
if you are interested i start i put up these um boxes i put them up last week most of them already sold but there are four left um of the original 14 so thank you all for <laughs> the 10 of you who did um buy right away um but there are four left so if any of you watching right now haven't seen the previous notice saw what i showed right now and are interested in getting a box and you understand that the boxes are all different each of them is different but you know what it includes um and you want one then you have to email me okay these are not on the etsy shop you have to email me my email is in the description box below let me know you want one or two or three i don't know how many um that you want but it's first come first serve so whoever writes me first gets them and there are only four left um i'm glad you guys all like the yarn um and yes you can also win one uh on jax's uh Potiver potiversary scavenger hunt and if you haven't seen that you can still go back and watch it because i do believe it goes until the 14th of the month hi cat um did i miss anything important um if you guys said anything that I missed, uh, you can just uh, write it again and I will read it in a few seconds uh, because now I'm here. Now I'm done, done talking. <laughs> Hi, Annika. Welcome in. All right. So let's make sure. Told you guys about and we, we cheered for the new member. Uh, we talked about the two new winners. And if you missed that, go back and watch the beginning uh, when it, this goes into replay. I showed you guys the prize for whoever wins on today's Yarn University. And I told you guys that you got to come back to the replay. Leave a comment down below if you want to enter into that. And we will choose a winner next Yarn University. I told you guys about the Etsy sale. It goes until midnight Germany time tonight. So that's uh, five and a half hours from now. Everything on Etsy, 20% off automatically. I showed you guys the new patterns on Etsy. I showed you guys the yarn club on Etsy and I show you guys all the yarn university new merch and we talked about the beanie sets. So I'm done with the announcements that I had for today. <laughs> um, hi, Sharon. Hello. Um, hi, you are new to my channel. Welcome in. Cheers to you. Cheers to newcomers. Cheers. Hi. Welcome to Jehu Crochet. I'm Reggie and that's okay because it's 6 30 in the evening here in Germany. So I'm drinking beer in a regular time. It's totally fine. Although here in Germany, it's totally fine. Even if you drink it at 12 <laughs> at noon. Um, welcome in. You just check. There is no mystery boxes or kits for the beanie on your Etsy store. Yes, that is just what I just said. <laughs> when it, um, the mystery boxes, like I said, the mystery bags of yarn, I mean, um, might have sold out. I, I will put new ones during the week. But about the boxes that I just showed, if you want one of these, they are not on the Etsy shop. You have to email me. My email is in the description box below. Um, that is the one item that you have to contact me. Um, because there are some details that I, I want to ask before. Um, what do you do when we come back? To where? What do you do when we come back? You come back to the replay and leave a comment <laughs> to enter into the giveaway. That's what you mean? Um, yes, I love the color of that set too. <laughs> um, Hello, Alpha from Denmark. Hi, neighbors. <laughs> Hello to all the Europeans in the chat. Do I crochet? Yes, that's what my channel is called, Jehu Crochet. <laughs> um, okay. So, um, yeah, we've said everything there is to say. So, if you're new here, hi, I'm Reggie. This is my channel, Jehu Crochet. Um, and a, this is Yarn University. Yarn University is a live class about a different yarn or crochet related subject. It normally takes place on Sundays at 6 p.m. Berlin time, but I couldn't be here yesterday. So we are doing this today. If you do not live in Germany and you don't know what time it is in your country, I do believe, if I am not mistaken, that it is 12 p.m. Eastern for those of you uh, in the States or Canada, you know, across the pond for those of you in Europe. Um, if you are in the UK, it's one hour before, so it's 5 p.m., right? Um, if you are anywhere to the west of me, <laughs> then, you know, just add as many hours ahead as you are. <laughs> 
Um, I'm not good with the converting. Hi, Divergent Crafter. Good to see you here. Um, okay. And hello to B. Chris Scott. Hello to Utah, USA. Good to see you all here. I'm very happy. Uh, we have some uh, new cameras that always makes me uh, feel very, very uh, nice. And you guys are all welcome here at your university. Um, I hope that you will uh, enjoy your first class with us. <laughs> um, oh, Debbie, I think that's all over the world. <laughs> Allergies are bad right now. Um, yeah, so it's time. Half an hour into the live is normally when we start the class. Um, and that's what we're going to do. So today's class has a bit of a different subject. Um, and it won't be as, uh, as long as your university normally is. Um, part of it is because we're not on our original, uh, time in the week. And part of it is because I'm sorry, guys, I... I told you, I'm so stressed with the move. There's not... Ah, <laughs> it's hard, it's hard. <laughs> There's not time. Um, so, yeah. I, um, I'm i gonna... Like, your university is gonna um, be a little... Maybe lighter um, for the next few weeks until the move. Oh, there is one thing I do need to tell you, though. So this upcoming Sunday, Yarniversity uh, will not happen. Instead of Yarniversity, there will still be a live. So Sunday, this coming Sunday, um, on 6 p.m. Berlin time. So same time as Yarniversity. You don't have to do anything else. Just come to the same place at the same time as always. But instead of Yarniversity, there will be something new, which I hope that you all will like. Um, we've been working on it. <laughs> And I, if I know your university crowd, um, you know, and I think I do after, you know, two years, um, then uh, you guys are going to love it and you're totally going to dig uh, whatever is coming. Um, it's not going to replace your university. Your university is still going to happen, but once a month we will have something new. Um, and that once a month will be uh, this coming Sunday for May. So May 15th, come see uh, what's going on. Um, well, uh, yeah, <laughs> it's, it's gonna be something naughty. <laughs> it's gonna be something naughty happening on Sunday. Uh, it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be a little bit different. Um, you know, you, you're used to, you're used to me, right? <laughs> I know, Andrea. I know, I know. Um, I've moved a lot too. I just, it, it I just thought that it's like my moving days are behind me. <laughs> Um, but yeah, okay, so, whew. today's Yarn University is, um, how to shop for yarn on, uh, AliExpress. Now, this is a question I get asked a lot. Um, hi, Susanna, good to see you. You received your box, yeah, I'm so happy, I'm glad you got it, I hope you liked it. Um, yeah, so, um, I've... I've been known, uh, for those of you who've been watching the channel for a while, and for those of you who are new here, here's a, a fun fact about me. Um, I am known for shopping for most of my yarn. About 90% of my yarn comes from shopping for yarn online. Um, so I am very good <laughs> with finding um, online shops to buy yarn from. Um, and one of the questions I get asked the most about shopping online is have I ever or do I have experience with uh, shopping for yarn on AliExpress or Wish or any of those, you know, made in China type um, sites? And my question is, yes, I do have quite a lot of experience with them and I do have quite a lot of tips on how to find the right things to order there so that you won't, you know, to completely flop with every order um, and have like a bad taste in your mouth. So that is what we will discuss today. So today we will talk about how to shop for yarn from AliExpress and I will also give some recommendation to specific shops on AliExpress that I already ordered from uh, in the past. And all the links to all the stores that I'm going to talk about today are already in the description box below. And if you're seeing anything on today's live that you want to get, um, then all you got to do is follow the links. Um, I already did the 
uh, footwork for you. Um, Carrie saying the prices are good, but like the word, uh, the shipping is brutal. Yeah, well, um, again, that, that is something we'll talk about as well. <laughs> um, what is the best store to buy yarn online? Oh, well, you guys, you just got to go back and watch Yarniversity on where to buy yarn online. There's a whole Yarniversity episode about it. I spoke about it for three hours. <laughs> Hi, Yarn Bar. Hello. Good to see you. You're just in time, actually, for the beginning of the class. You missed the announcement in the beginning, but if you want to hear them, you just got to go back and watch the replay. <laughs> um, okay. Are you going to watch on TV to tomorrow's evening? Of course, of course. Wait. Okay, we got to pause here. European fellas, tomorrow night is the first half final of Eurovision. Okay. And of course I'm going to watch. Because, again, those of you who watch this channel for a while know that I'm a big Eurovision fan. I haven't missed Eurovision ever since I was 10. <laughs> Every year. Um... And uh, yes, of course, I'm going to watch and um, and I'm totally, I'm totally, totally, totally rooting um, for Sweden. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, let's see. Um, yay, Curry! <laughs> um, thought on the sign up freebies with aliexpress okay so we will talk about aliexpress all right so um first thing you need to know about shopping on aliexpress is um yeah it's a it's a hit and miss thing okay um like everything else if you ever shopped for anything <laughs> um on aliexpress then you know Okay, um, a lot of times, it, it you know, you order one thing, it comes, it doesn't look like the picture, and um, you have to, you know, you have to, you have to do the research. Otherwise, uh, what you get is like normally not what you think you're gonna get, and you can get disappointed. But um, yeah, there are ways in which you can at least for ninety percent um, promise that what you're going to get is what you want to get, and that's what we're gonna talk about today. So to begin, of course, we are going to go to AliExpress. Um, you know, for if if there is anyone here who never heard of AliExpress or doesn't know what I'm talking about, um, this is AliExpress. That's what the website looks like. Um, what it is, it does. It is set to me being in Germany right now, but wherever you are in the world, um, the the website will look the same. But you might get different things on your front page. Um, they do use cookies, and you know they show you things that they think you're gonna like. And also, some of the stores don't ship to every country. Um, but what AliExpress is is pretty much like it's a source. So there are different stores, different. Um, most of them are like factory stores or like little um, uh, warehouse shops and so on. And they sell their merch or their items um, through this AliExpress. And AliExpress is pretty much like the sale platform for them. Um, but in the end, um, your stuff, do not they don't come from AliExpress. They come from whatever shop it is that you order from through AliExpress. Um, <laughs> Maybe we can have a live watch of Eurovision. That would be fun. <laughs> With like live commentary. Um, okay, so you you've never shopped on AliExpress. That's fine. But this is the that's the website. That's what it looks like. Um, it is you know a made in China kind of website. Even though there are certain shops on there that don't ship from China but the, the I think the majority the majority of the shops that are on AliExpress or Wish um, are um, are based in China or being shipped from China or is stuff from China that are warehoused somewhere else and then shipped from there um, but most of it is made in China things um, and uh, some of the, but there are some shops that are uh, located in different things, specifically in the yarn department, as someone who shops a lot for yarn online, there are quite a lot of shops on AliExpress that ships from Turkey. So um, if, for example, um, a certain brand of Turkish yarn that you've seen me talk about or seen other European podcasters talk about and is not available in your country, um, 
then you can very easily go and find it on AliExpress and get it shipped to you. Um, however, again, um, on this specific note, like if you're looking for yarn on Tur from Turkey, check out the links in my description box. There are specific links to Pleta, which is in Bulgaria, and to Ice Yarns, which is in Turkey, and to Vilrita, which is in, I want to say Latvia. <laughs> Um, and they are uh, way better places to get Tur uh, made in Turkey yarn and they ship for a more reasonable price than AliExpress. But for, um, you know, China or Japanese or Far East sourced yarns um, for a very cheap price um, is a very good place. Uh, to buy yarn, you just have to know how to do it so that you will not, you won't fall on the bad things, and you actually get good yarn. Okay, so we're gonna start with you know the front of the website. That's what it looks like. It will always, if you, the more you shop on there, the website will like get to know you because they collect information, of course, um, and they will show you on the front page more and more things that are relevant to your searches. So as you can see, I mean, you are seeing my AliExpress right now. So of course, I did research before I came on today's live. So you can see that my entire front page is covered with yarn because I did look for <laughs> good places to get yarn or crochet related things. Um, on AliExpress. So you can see that they their ability to collect um, information about me is pretty good because it's showing us like other than that I don't know why that scooter is there because like I really I don't I've never even looked for anything that is like that. Um, but other than that everything that's on the front page is pretty much you know spot on to things that I would look like. There's crochet hooks, there are knitting needles and different notions and yarn and yarn and, and yarn and yarn and yarn. Um, so they they do you know they show you uh, things that you are uh, most likely to look for. Um, but then you have your um, your front page and um, you will use the search bar and we will do that now together and we will write yarn just in general you know <laughs> so that I can explain to you how to shop for yarn on AliExpress and you will get results. Um, now you will get a ton of results because there as I've said so many different shops on AliExpress and um, I will talk about what how do you recognize and so on in a bit but as you can see there's a ton of results on each page and here at the bottom there is like you can continue to the next page to the next page and it tells me there is a total of 60 60 pages of results for my search for yarn now let's uh learn how to read <laughs> aliexpress not how to read in general how to read that website um so this is these are your search results of course you can see uh, pictures of the items um up here uh it shows you what you search for and then you can filter the results just like any other search engine really so you can choose only shops that um, offer free shipping you can search for only items that have four stars and up because of course it's a grading system people bought the item they can give it a review afterwards so you can shop for only things that have four plus um, stars you can choose where do you want the items to be shipped from as, as you can see it says ship from and i can drop down and i can choose stores that are located in a specific place uh, the majority of the stores as i said will be in china but you can see that there are stores in belgium turkey poland italy czech republic france spain the united kingdom and germany um, here you can filter different prices um, and it tells you in that price range how many items are. So it tells you 8% um, of the users buy items of this kind that cost under one euro in this, co in, in this case because my um, website is set to euros because I'm in Europe, but you can set it to dollars, of course, or your Canadian dollar or whatever um, coin they use in your country. Um, so it tells you most most of the items are somewhere between 1 euro and 1.73 um, and then you have some that are a little bit more expensive and the most expensive ones are over 14 dollars um, 14 euros um, but you can you know filter by price and then you can sort the results so you um, can ask you to show you bet best matches so 
the items that fit the word that I wrote, yarn, the most will be first. Um, or you can sort by price or um, different, you know, uh, categories. Um, it's so helpful. You were looking there a few days ago and it was very confusing. I'm so glad uh, that, uh, that I can then help you with that. Okay, so those are the results. Um, I'm not going to filter them right now because it doesn't serve uh, my purpose of today's live. But if you're looking for something specific, um, you can use one of those um, filters to filter. Now let's look at the results. So you have pictures and uh, the first thing you need to know with AliExpress is it's probably not <laughs> like 80% of the time the item you will get will not look uh, like the item in the picture. Um, why? Because um, how to know if it will look like it, the item in a picture is the subject of today's live and I will explain to you how to make sure that what you're getting is really what you're seeing. But um, there are pictures. So um, obviously, you know, being us, being online shoppers, uh, we will be drawn to uh, the pictures that speak the most to us, right? Um, yeah, and they are sellers. <laughs> so they will put pictures who draw your eye. Um, that's, you know, that's the hooking, <laughs> that, that, that's their hook. Um, but let's just, you know, for example, say that we really like this picture here of this really cuddly looking yarn. Um, and we're going to use that item for our demonstration. And, um, you can see that when you look at the item, you have the picture that, um, you know, that's the, the front of the picture and then um, right here in the bottom behind that little heart if it will disappear now can you see that it says ad on the bottom of the picture that means it's an ad what does that mean that means that specific seller paid more when they uploaded this um, item so that their item will show up higher on the search results um, which means that um, it just it just generally means that they are more able to promote themselves. Maybe it's a bigger store, they have more money, maybe, you know. Um, but it is a promoted item. Down uh, in the second row, we already start seeing items that are not promoted. So from here on, you will see that pictures don't have the little AD on the bottom. Um, if it, you know, if it matters to you, um, just know the, the top items are most of the time they are the top ones that you see not because they are the best ones for your search but because something in your search triggered that ad and um, that promoted content okay so we see those um, fluffy balls of yarn they have a really nice tag on them um, you can see the price here it says it's 194 194 euro but the name of the item look at the name of the item it does say 50 grams so each ball is 50 grams so you're it's 194 almost two euros for 50 grams that's the price of the item underneath it it will say how many of these items have already sold on aliexpress now this uh is where a higher number might be a good sign so uh, let's look at the item right next to it for example this item here 3604 items of this yarn here that we see have sold um this item have 75 sold okay that doesn't not necessarily means that it's not a good item um, maybe the shop is newer, maybe people just uh, search for this kind of yarn less, it doesn't matter. But normally items that have a larger number of sales is a better sign, especially if right uh, next to the larger number of sales is also a high star rating. You can see how many stars that item received from previous shoppers who bought that item. So if there's a high number as well as a high star rating, higher chances that this item is really what it does say in the description. Okay, but let's go back to our example here in the middle. Um, so we can see how many items sold before, um, what is the star rating that people who bought it until now gave it. So this one actually got five stars, a very good sign. 
it tells us that it um, it has a guaranteed 15 day delivery, which means um, if you buy this item, they guarantee delivery within 15 days. This is something that not every item has, but under the number of, sa of sales of this item and the number of stars that it gotten from previous shoppers, you will have the shipping information. So this specific item has a 15 day delivery as well as free shipping and free return. Next week, the item that we compared it to has no 15 day delivery, but free shipping and combined delivery option. Combined delivery means that if you will shop for more items from different stores, they will make the effort to ship it together with the other items from the other stores to lower your shipping price. Okay. All right. Up until now, any questions on the front? Um, page. <laughs> um, yeah, Amazon does that as well. That's true. A lot of sales um, websites do that. Um, Okay, I'm gonna wait a few seconds because normally it takes a few seconds from the second I say something as you guys hear it. But uh, welcome to everyone who came in. I am seeing Army One Two Three list, which I guess your name is Leah because you just said that. <laughs> um, welcome in. Thank you for joining in. And anyone who's joining in, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And if you're not yet subscribed, subscribe down below. We're talking how to shop for yarn on AliExpress. Um, I'm not seeing any questions so far, but if they will pop up, um, I will answer them. Okay, so that is the top, um, the top page, like the front page. Yeah, that's the search results, and now we know how to read them. That's the item name right here, but uh, we will talk about the specific item name in a minute. Underneath all that information, all the way at the bottom, that is the store that that item comes from. And um, we will talk about specific stores in a second. But let's now, for our example, press on that item and have it open up. Okay, so this is the items page. Here you can see the full name of the product. And um, one thing on AliExpress is that they will give you a lot of like information um, in the title of the um, of the item. That's because, you know, SEO, um, they want to fit their, the, the title of the item to fit certain searches all at once. Um, so it does say that each ball is 50 gram, 50 grams a piece, 100% polyester. That's already in the title. Yeah. It does says it's soft, plush, coral, vel velvet yarns for baby, for hand knitting, crochet, sweater, hat, scarf, you know, that's just, it, it's just a bunch of words because if I would have searched for crochet sweater, this yarn would also come up. If I would have cro um, um, put up the phrase in the search, um, knitting for babies, uh, this yarn would come up. So they're just jump, putting a bunch of words in the description of, in the title of the item that will catch the SEO and that is normal. But in a second, we'll talk about how to know what exactly the item is. Underneath it, you will see that there are five stars uh, reviews so far from eight reviews out of 73 orders. That means that all the other people uh, either didn't give a review um, or I don't know, just <laughs> didn't care. Um, it does say that the price is one euro 94 per ball. And we did see in the title that it's a 50 gram ball. Underneath it, you'll get different store discounts. Um, every store offers coupons for, so if you buy more items from, from that store, um, it does say that there are a few coupons available for this product, but you always have to um, press on the coupons to see the, um, the details. So it will say, um, this store will give you uh, 97 cents off each order that's over 19 euros 53, uh, 56. Um, okay, so like if you buy over a certain amount uh, from that shop, you will get um, a certain amount off if you activate the coupon. Okay, now we can look at the item. Uh, some items have a video in them. So here, this one does. Um, sorry, 
why did it stop so this one has a video uh, that we can uh, look at together where it shows um, the yarn and, and they uh, they are showing you it's nice and it's fuzzy and uh, here is how you can crochet with it and uh, this is what it comes out look like look at this very cute little scarves that they made with it very very cuddly very nice um, then it shows you um, different you know uh, angles and different things that can be made with that yarn that is indeed very very cute down here you will see the different colors available and you can you know go from one to the other to see the different colors that is just like any other um, online yarn store you can choose the quantity that you want uh, you need to tell them where it ships to so mine is set to germany and you can set your aliexpress to ship to wherever you are and again all the delivery information down here that says 15 day delivery free shipping and here it says it ships from do you see that from china so this is where the item is shipping from if it ships from a different country it will say a different country um it will be shipped with aliexpress standard shipping estimated delivery so if i order it today estimated delivery on may 31 and of course uh, it will say different things re depending on what sort of shipping method they use and they do have an on-time guarantee with aliexpress if they have an on-time guarantee and your item does not arrive on the time that they said um, then you can ask for a refund and different things like that they are very good with with these kind of things scrolling down you will have the item description and this is where you want to look okay um, because in the title there's a lot of a bunch of like words wait so did someone ask a question anyone ever use milk cotton um yeah i have it's very very nice um claudia also have she says it's very great for um uh, baby items it is it's very very soft um yes exactly the titles are very confusing but then you want to look at the item description mm -hmm. so you read the item description and this one this will give normally more information information that's not more relevant to us so for example how much yarn so it does say 50 grams a ball it does not give yardage on this specific item which is a little annoying um, but some items will give you the specific yardage. It does say the material is 100% polyester. And here you gotta be, you gotta look because sometimes the title will say wool yarn, blah, 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 blah. And they only put the word wool in the title because they wanna, you know, grab the SEO. But then when you scroll down to the description, it will say it's actually acrylic or something like that. So that's why you wanna read the description and read it well. So this one says 100% polyester, 50 grams, um, high quality, anti-peeling, ideal for knitting, shawls, shoes, hat. I don't know if I would, you know, knit shoes with it. Um, down here it says, note, due to the monitors, there may be a little color difference. This is very important to know. Different monitors show different colors. So when you buy for but this is with any yarn uh, that you buy online. Sometimes the color that you will get might look a little different than what it showed on your computer. Um, and it does say, please uh, order a sufficient amount, you know, to avoid the, the case in which you come back later and you want to order more and it's not there. Um, because this is not a big yarn company website. This is AliExpress and an item that's on there today can tomorrow just be gone. Okay, they have some more pictures of the yarn. You can see it closely. Um, it does show you here, which is a very important picture. You can see the thickness and the construction of the yarn. This is what it looks like. It has the strand on one side and that like fuzzy, I don't know uh, what you want to call it, like fun fur um, coming out of the, the other side and the thickness of the yarn. It's, it's almost like a centimeter thick um then you have all the colors again so you can see them better and you scroll 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 and you continue scrolling and you want to continue scrolling because you want to continue scrolling all the way down to the reviews okay there they are now we have the customer reviews and this is very very important always look at the customers reviews here is where you will find out if the item that people get is actually the item in the picture 
some uh, reviews will have pictures in them and they will show you and you can look at the pictures that the people took once they got the item and you will look at the picture and see does that this is the picture of what they got does this look like the picture on the website it's very it's very helpful um, also very um, helpful to read what people write on their reviews here people weren't very um, you know I guess everyone was very happy with whatever it is they got we can see where the people who ordered are from um, so you can see where they are coming from um, and you can see that there are orders uh, in different uh, times so different times in the year from different people different users you can see up here the, the username and you can see that there are users who order again and again and again so repeating users is always a good sign and you can see that people ordered from different countries so there's someone from France from Russia um, and you can well right here nobody wrote anything so uh, I guess and they all gave five stars so I guess they were all very happy so this item actually looks legit but sometimes on AliExpress when you go to the comments this is where you'll find out that it's actually not at all um, what it looks like um, or people will tell you if the yarn um, when they work with it you know if the color rubbed off or if it was itchy or um, if there were different things inside of it it, or if there were a lot of knots in the yarn and so on so that's where you want to read all of that um bye to everyone who has to leave us right now uh, what's the best way to crochet with a double crochet or the single crochet i i i don't say it depends on <laughs> on whatever you're crocheting um yes the reviews are the key um you cut the live by accident. <laughs> Hi Jess, welcome in. Thank you for being here. Um, yeah, okay. So um, very, very important. Reading the reviews. Um, this is how you get the that information that the title and the description won't tell you. Okay. Um, now, I didn't... Um, want to i i don't like to badmouth companies on my um on my channel like i don't like to call out specific com companies um when people write me privately to ask about a certain company and i have a bad opinion about them i will tell them um or if someone wants like specifically to hear from me where i don't where i um like where i would not recommend buying then you can write me per privately and i will answer you but i don't say it like out loud so i did not take specific items that have bad reviews to show you okay but you can find them very easily on aliexpress like crocheting a frog plushie oh um if you mean like for amigurumi and dolls like what we saw on the pictures um yeah single crochet will be the way to go because you want to keep the stuffing inside um Yes, I understand, um, but uh, this specific episode is about buying from AliExpress. I have a, a whole yarn university about ordering from companies. Um, so if you're, you know, if you're interested in hearing about good websites to buy yarn from, um, I have a whole, I think I even have two yarn universities about that uh, where I talked about good websites where I recommend buying yarn from but one of the questions I get asked the most on those lives um, when I talk about um, buying yarn online is people are asking me if I have experience with AliExpress and Wish which is why I decided to do a specific yarn university just about that. Have you had any su success with dupes of crochet hooks with AliExpress? Yes! Um, did I pack them already? Let me see. Mm. Okay, this this set of hooks for those of you, uh, I I did understand that uh, you can get these in Hobby Hobby Lobby. I don't know how much they cost there, but I got this set of hooks, um, which is one of my favorite set of hooks. I love using them. You can see that the three and a half millimeter is right now in use in a in a project i use these very very often but i already put them back in the case because i'm packing <laughs> um but these are like my absolute not my absolute favorite hooks because i have one set that i like more um but 
way on top there uh, with my favorite hooks and um, someone told me that there's a very similar set like these um, on Hobby Lobby and they look a lot also like a specific type of eddies um, but if if you buy this set on AliExpress I paid one <laughs> euro one euro for the whole set um, I don't know how much they are now because this was three years ago um, but you know you can get full sets of hooks that are good hooks for a good size also um you can get on aliexpress which this is something i don't have because i already packed them uh you know the clover not the clover amore the clover soft touch you can get like fake clover soft touch which are pretty much clover soft touch because uh the, they are made in china <laughs> um but like without the clover brand on them and you can get a whole set on aliexpress for like eight euros for the entire set uh which it's a very very good price um which yarn companies do you recommend in germany um you uh, websites to buy from here in germany i i buy from um wolle rodel and from uh Fischer wolle um and rito so rito is actually based in denmark uh but they have free shipping to germany um and i buy a lot from rito i also have an affiliate link and it's in the description box below if you know rito um, they have very good yarns but inside germany i buy from fischer wolle and uh wolle rodel um and they are both very good websites and i buy a lot from lana grossa directly from their italian websites um you use thick hooks to crochet what's the best yarn for them i use thick hooks to crochet you mean like these thick hooks or what do you mean when you say thick hooks big hooks or <laughs> um I think you can only get those as singles at Hobby Lobby. Oh, really? Um, well, yeah, there you go. Buy the whole set for one year. That's really nothing. <laughs> um, <laughs> okay, so... Um, continuing on, I, I, I did say I didn't want to... Like, I didn't want to show you... Um, specific items that are yes big hooks okay so for these kind of big hooks you want to use big thick yarn um that's a uh, super bulky six or jumbo which is a number seven that's the thickness of the yarn um you know i i think someone someone told me once that um i don't know where you are but i'm, I'm guessing that you are in the states if i'm wrong let me know um but if you are in the states someone told me that the peep squeak i think it's called yarn is good for those um and all you know different kinds of blanket yarns velvet yarns those are really really good for um for different cuddly type amigurumis um with thicker hooks um the ones i get at hobby lobby have a plastic shank which doesn't slip well for me oh well um those are as i've said um or as i showed you guys they have the top is um is metal and the handle is like um it's not really plastic it's more like rubbery so it's it's it has a good grip so happy I just picked up a package with 16 balls of Schachenmeier Baby Smiles. Yes, well, Schachenmeier is a great company, you know, German quality. <laughs> so, <laughs> taking, I'm taking credit for everything German because I'm a dictator. <laughs> okay, so, um, yeah. So I didn't want to like badmouth a specific store or tell you guys like stay away from this item. I I because I don't I don't like to do that. I don't like to show items that are like. But if you, again if you know AliExpress and you use the, the knowledge that I have just you know conveyed to you, uh, it will be very easy for you to find items that are like low rated low with one star and below, <laughs> and see the comments from what people say um, about them, and then you will understand what kind of items you do not want to buy. Um, hi, Sorikata Crafts, welcome. <laughs> Have a nice lunch. Um, 
I know, I know, I know. I You can never have enough hooks. I have tons of hooks. I mean, well, I picked most of them. <laughs> but normally I have like a ton of hooks laying everywhere. Um, the ones you've seen at Hobby Lobby are more like the ones I showed. Okay. Um, all right. So, um, but I did want to share with you some stores that I do have uh, experience with that I know are good and I know um, that you can uh, buy from without being worried. Hi Ashley! Um, so I will share those with you and I have links to all of them in the description box below. And um, so the, the stores that are in the description box below come with you know the, the seal of approvement. Um, but I will show you the different stores and we'll talk a little bit, you know, about watching each of them. And also I will show you when we look at the stores, when you look at a store in AliExpress, what you should look at um, to know if it's legit. Okay. Um... <laughs> How long before you break? Well, this is an enabler channel. So <laughs> if you're trying not to buy things, this is why not the, be the place to be. <laughs> All right, so first I wanted to show you... Wait, let me take you back to my browser. All right, first I wanted to show you this store. It's called Interesting Wool uh, Interesting Wool Yarn Store. And once again, um, look at the title of the shop. It says Interesting Wool Yarn. Um, does not mean that all their yarns are wool. Uh, it does mean that they want to catch the SEO and they want to grab both people, people who look for yarn and people who look for wool. Okay, because as you might or might not know, in some languages, the word for wool and yarn is the same word. Um, Hobby Lobby now has 50% off every other week. Okay. Um, yeah, you get uh, all the links uh, that are in the description box are uh, already through my link. Um, <laughs> okay so um here we have uh the interesting wool yarn store um and you can see i mean the pictures already on the beginning are like already lush and it does say 50 percent off and it's it's like drawing you in but when you look at a store on aliexpress this is what it will look like they will have like the the their top deals at the moment um, and then they will have like everything that you can get on this store. Specifically this item here, I've showed this to you guys before because this was a yarn that I reviewed. I bought a yarn from Rito, um, which I just mentioned. It's a, it's a yarn store in Denmark. Um, but Rito does not ship outside the European Union. However, they're yarn just like a lot of other yarns as you all know is not made in Denmark they are all made in one big yarn mill somewhere and then sold to different companies so I did find this store that has the same yarn which is this yarn here um, that was the yarn that I reviewed on my channel and um, and that yarn you can buy directly from the factory who makes it here through AliExpress and, and get it if you're not in Europe and you can't get it from Rito. If you are in Europe, you should get it from Rito because it's cheaper. Um, but if you're anywhere outside of Europe and want to get the same yarn, you can get it here. But as you can see, they have beautiful yarn. First of all, look at the pictures. The pictures are amazing. They have beautiful, beautiful yarns. Um, but what's good about this store, and you, you can see they have amazing cakes and they have different types of yarns. They have cotton, they have silk, they have different types of wool. Um, but what's good about this store is, uh, and this is what I wanted to show you. So when looking at a store at AliExpress, you want to go all the way to the top um, and you want to look at um, this line here. OK, so this is the the shop. It's called Interesting Wool Yarn Store. And here you can see their analytics. Um, so you can see their store number on AliExpress. You can see that this store is open since 2021, May 2021, so uh, a year now. And you can see that they have a business license. Do you see that? It says 
right here it says business license you can contact them so they have like a messaging um, program where you can contact them through aliexpress and ask questions or inquire about different things um, you can follow the store so uh, if you shop often on aliexpress uh, they will show you new things that came to the store and so on on your notifications and you'll get different deals that they have um, and here you can see the details um, of the seller rating so um, sellers rated them that uh, 4.8 uh, percent no 4.8 stars out of 5 4.8 um, star rating for the item being as described which is what we we want to look for we want to know that the description on the website matches what I get so you can see people gave 4.8 stars out of 5 to the items from this shop being as described um, 4.7 stars for communication so if you need anything from the shop and you want to communicate with them they have a very high rate from communication and 4.7 stars on the shipping speed means the shipping is relatively quick and relatively is relative to other shops on aliexpress and not in general okay you can't you can't compare aliexpress to other websites okay you have to compare aliexpress to aliexpress um okay so you can see it's open one year right next to it you can see that it has 97.9 percent positive feedback so out of 100 percent of feedbacks that they got on the website 97.9 percent are positive feedbacks it's a very very high rating on aliexpress and you can see that they have 863 followers of course shops that have larger amount of followers are most of the time more trustworthy it means that more people tend to shop there often and want to see information from them when new items come so they follow the shop so the more followers a shop has of course the higher rating that the shop has it's better and of course it's very important to check what are their general ratings about different things so their shipping rating their communication rating and uh, if it interests you if they have a business license or not and how long has this store been open if it's a new store and doesn't have a lot of reviews you know maybe uh if you if you like to be adventurous and be the first one to try then maybe but if not then maybe you know wait a little bit before ordering from them so this is what you should look like uh, look at um, so this is one store that I personally have tried have ordered from and I would recommend they have very good quality items and you can see that they also have different hand dyed yarns um, let me open this real quick um, this is a very very nice item that I personally have had uh, the, the experience with um, it's one hank of 100 grams of uh, merino wool it does say 100% merino wool um, that is also what it says on the tag when you get it so I believe them um, and it has a tons of colors so it's available in a very very large range of tonals as well as um, dotted it's not really speckled because uh, you know it's not that sort of hand dye yarns um, but they have the dotted one as you can see here you can see I'm trying to hold it so that you will see the color up close but it has like little dots of other colors on there um, and yeah they have a very large range of colors they have a very nice um, variegated yarn and for a hank of hand dyed merino 15 euro 66 is a very very good price and um, they are a store that offers free shipping and 15 day delivery so um yeah as i've said uh this is a store that i do have um experience with and i would uh recommend checking out all right let's see what you guys are saying um <laughs> This sort of looks like my type of yarn. Yeah, um, it's actually is a very good one. By the way, I saw drops wooden rainbow colored hooks that look like Knit Pro ones. I'm wondering if they're the same. I don't know. I didn't try them, but it 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 could be because, like I just said, um, they're all made in the same factories, and you just slip different um, different names on there. 
Uh, typically, shipping from China to the US is three weeks, says uh, Crystal. I, I believe you. Um, hi, Nadia. We cheered to you before the beginning of today's live because I welcomed you as our new member. So cheers again, Nadia. <laughs> Nadia, I think uh, shipping from China to Switzerland usually takes two to four weeks, but sometimes even six to eight. Yes. Um, again, some of these uh, some of these shops, as I said, they uh, they guarantee fast delivery. Some of them don't. The, the ones that don't, it can be up to a few weeks. Um, <laughs> yes, I got my enabler on. Yeah. <laughs> All right. But hey, it's in the title of today's video, right? The title says buying yarn. So, <laughs> um, all right. Another shop, uh, that I will give my, um, seal of approval to is this one. Um, it's called Kayan, I, I, I suppose I'm, I'm not 100% sure. Um, but for those of you who, um, who know, uh, certain European brands, um, I want you to look at the tags of the yarns. Um, they already by looking at the tags, you can see some of your, um, well-known, uh, companies. This one, for example, look at this yarn. It's Merino wool. Very, very similar to the Osterman tags. For those of you who know Osterman yarn. Um, and if you look at these yarns here, uh, this is um, Hobie Carnival. This is exactly the same yarn. Um, and for those of you in um, Austria, the Netherlands, Belgium, Germany, you might know uh, Action, the store Action. I have a few videos of shopping for yarns there that I did. And so you might recognize this yarn um, here. So as you can see already looking at the yarns, um, this is a, is a factory store. So they make the yarns and then they sell them to different um, uh to different brands and brands slap their um their own tag on there and sell them you know for their prices but here you can get them cheaper um, of course if you don't mind um waiting the time and uh, sometimes paying for the shipping sh uh, shipping can be more expensive but in, all in all it might come out to be cheaper um and once again uh you can see the rating of this store this store actually exists since eight years as you can see here they do have a business license so they are a more established business they have a very high rating on everything 4.8 on the items description the communication and the shipping you can see that they have um, a relatively large amount of followers uh, almost 700 people and um, 98 percent 98.7 percent of positive feedback uh like i just told you about the shop before when we were talking about it so it's this is what this is the kind of ratings that you want to see um and you can see that they have a very large selection of yarns they have anything from crochet thread um to pom-pom yarn to this loop it yarn if any of you have ever <laughs> worked with that kind of thing um here are those um cuddly yarns to make uh, different stuffies and, and plushies, uh, cake yarns, and um, like I said, that roving that looks like um, like Hobie Carnival or what is it, Lion Brand Landscapes or something like that, right? Um, so yeah, these are, uh, and they also sell knitting needles and crochet hooks. Here is the set that I told you guys about. Look, nine pieces, one euro 18. Do you see that? Um, so yeah, and uh, you can get different tools here. Um, this is the pom-pom set that I have. I don't have it here to show you because everything is packed. And I also have this set of darning needles along with the little thingy that holds the needles in it. Um, if you ever wanted to have these uh, funny crane or stork looking um, scissors that are very Instagrammable, uh, but not very, you know, usable. <laughs> um, but if you ever wanted to get your hands on a pair of these and, and like on Hobie, they are like six years or something like that. Uh, here they are uh, 
a little less than three euros um, so very good place to get yarn and accessories I highly recommend this shop it's called Kayan store again um, there's a link a direct link in the description box below for you guys okay um, you're not a fan of China because how badly they treat their people. I haven't even ordered any craft items from eBay and in nearly two years, a lot of those sales even offer free shipping. Yeah, um, that is correct. But again, I mean, we all, each of us have our own, um, you know, uh, um, uh, things that we take into consideration when decide where and where to buy. I'm just, you know, giving you the information. If you decide to buy there, uh, these are the things that you should look for. The yarn at the top second from left looks like Karen Cotton Cake, says Nadia. Um, nice to buy direct from manufacturer. Yeah, exactly. Um, because it costs a lot more when you buy it on Hobie. You have that uh, set of hooks. They're really good hooks. Only issue is the label rubs off, uh, but some clear polish fixes. Yes, um, those are, you know, who said I just showed you guys. <laughs> um, might be cheaper to buy US brands from AliExpress. Um, yeah, because they're not actually US brands. They are all made in China and then they slip the brands on them. <laughs> um, that's, you know, just in case in case some of you are under still under you know the um uh still under the assumption that all the yarns that you see on hobie for example are actually made for hobie you know they are not um they are made for a whole bunch of companies uh the factory that makes them sell them to different brands and each brand slips their own label on them and their own price on them that's how it works um other than specific companies that have their own mill and only mill and do make yarn for their own brand um but let's say 80 percent of yarn companies are not like that so there are like 20 percent of the yarn companies that do um most of the yarn companies uh nowadays don't there are the big factories they are most of the time either in china or in turkey um, or in India, where the yarns is sourced, um, smaller brands usually have their own mill. So um, if you guys remember, we talked about um, different yarn companies all around the world. We had a whole series of Yarn University about it, and we went from one continent to another and talked about different companies. And I specifically mentioned which company has their own mill and makes their own yarn, and which company buys yarn from a bigger mill, and also which company is the one that sells the yarns to all the other companies. If you remember, we... we um, when we talked about Asian companies, I mentioned quite a few companies that are big companies that create a very large uh, range of yarns and then sell them to different brands to sell under their own brands. And we saw yarns that are sold on um, on Premier Yarns uh, that are made in different um, factories. And we saw yarns that are sold on Lion Brand and on Hobie uh, and under the big names of Yarn Inspiration, um, but are actually all made uh, in the same place. Unless it is a small mill, yeah, unless it is a small mill, most yarns are manufactured. Exactly, which is just, what I just said. What did I just say? <laughs> okay, yeah, so um, I'm going to uh, uh, show you guys um, one more um, or maybe two more uh, stores. And then, but I will tell you that there is a whole list of stores that are Reggie approved. And I linked them all in the description box below with direct links to the store so that you won't have to go on AliExpress and look. You can press that link and it will take you specifically to that store um, and you can look for the items there. Um, but I will not show all the stores that are in the list in the description box below on the live because it's just a way to show another and another and another. Um, I will just show ones um, specifically that I wanted to show for a certain reason. Um, so here is one second where is my browser all right so here is wendy's life store um this is a relatively uh new store as you can see it's only since november 2021 so not even a year yet um 
it, it's placed in China. They do have a business license and they have a very high rating. However, until now, um, they only have 29 followers. So they're like quite new. But in the short time that they are open, um, they've only had positive reviews. They don't only sell yarn. They sell yarn and stuff. But um, as you can see, they sell like special artisserie i don't want to say artisserie but like special yarns like the glow in the dark yarns for those of you who like you know that kind of gimmick um and they also have mink yarn which is something that in some i, I mean again we don't all like that and i am definitely not condoning um you know any kind of animal abuse but some people do like to use those yarns um, in China, it is allowed um, to make those kind of yarns and some of these are not sold in other countries because it is not allowed to make them. So if you were looking for a certain kind of yarn that is made out of specific animal, it's not allowed to be manufactured in your company, uh, in your country, uh, AliExpress might be the place to uh, find it. And they have quite a lot of different ones here. They have mink and they have cashmere of different kinds. Um, and they also sell uh, very nice tape yarn. Uh, for those of you who are here for Yarn University about tape yarn. They have this one, which is the more bulky cotton one. And they also have uh, this one, which is more of like a... Um, it's a tape yarn, but it's more like uh, flexible and thin thinner tape yarn. Uh, very good for hats. <laughs> you know, going back to my new pattern that was just released that I told you guys at the beginning of today's live and so on. Yeah, so they have a lot of things and they also have that milk fiber yarn that someone was asking about here before. So uh, this is one store uh, where you can get that. Um, just like cosmetics yes that is correct um yeah just like t-shirts and sneakers exactly yeah yarn is no different um you are very welcome i hope you guys put them to good use i recently got a cake that looked nothing like the picture i put in a dispute and all was good and refunded yes that is um something that i do want to mention about aliexpress um they are very, very good with uh, customers. So they want, they want the good customer service. They want the good reviews. Um, if for any reason you are not happy with the item that you have received, um, it can be anything. It can be it took too long. It didn't arrive in the in you know within the, the time frame. It didn't arrive in the date that they said, or there was delay in shipping, or it arrived. Um, damaged or it doesn't look like the picture or it has different things in it that shouldn't you know be in it or what anything anything that you're not happy with um you can contact their customer service um and they are they are normally very very good with putting things right um they will either refund you sometimes they will even refund you without asking you to ship the item back so they will tell you you can keep it we will refund you sometimes they will pay for shipping it back um, and refund you. Sometimes they will refund you half the money, or sh sometimes they will just sh send you a new one. Um, but they are they are looking for those good reviews, so they it's important to them that the customer service uh, will be good. And shops that have constantly bad reviews are being removed. It's not just a, like a, um, sell as much as you can. You have ordered milk cotton from Alexor before because I was curious about it. I still am not sure about what that is. <laughs> I think we talked about it when we spoke about vegan fibers. I uh, should go to our university. <laughs> um, yeah, so I did have, um, not with yarn, um, but I did have issues with AliExpress one time I, 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 I ordered a certain they have a, a, a large range of items uh, on AliExpress you can pretty much buy anything on AliExpress um, but I ordered a, I think it was a pin like a um, like an enamel pin and um, it was a li the listing had like five different options to choose from like five different pins and I chose one and um and they and they shipped it it was a different one so it was a different one of the five like they accidentally 
ship the wrong model. It's like buying a yarn and getting the wrong color. Okay, so the same sort of. Um, I wrote them I, I, and I took a picture, of course, because you can send them a picture. Um, I took a picture, I said, this is what I got. And you can see that it's not the same one in the order. And they said, you can keep it. And they refunded me. So they're really like, they're very good with um, customer service normally, most of the time. Um, yeah, so all the links, um, that, like I said, there are a bunch of links in the description box below. Um, I did want to show you one more shop. Um, this one, one second. Um, this one, look up here. Uh, it does say this shop exists uh, since 2015. It is in China. They have a business license. They have very, very good high rating. And look at his here. Do you see this? They have the silver star. Um, and they have, look at that number, 14,214 followers and 97.1% good reviews. So that means it's, it's, it's a, this is a legit business. Okay. This is, doesn't get on AliExpress. It does not get more legit than that. Um, and they have a lot of different kind of yarns, but the reason I wanted to show you is because they have a very, very large collection of the kind of yarns that you hold together with another yarn to make an effect, you know, those sequin yarns, in different colors um those like little um pom pom not it's not pom pom yarn it's it has like it's like um oh what is it called like boucle but not that the whole yarn just like it's a little strand at every uh, couple of uh, centimeters you have like a bump um and those yarns are very very good to hold together with another yarn when you work to make a special effect or it's good for those of you um, who do um, uh, weaving um, because it, 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 they have a lot of like texture yarns. That's that's the word I was looking for. So for those of you who like, uh, first of all, if you're like me and you like to try all those yarns with the special texture just because you want to know what they're like. I really loved it. This store, they have a lot of those of like yarns that have different interesting constructions. And I like to work with them and see what they come, how do they look like when you work with them. And I also like to hold them together with a regular yarn, so like with a regular basic acrylic or whatever to make a special effect um so if you're like me and you just like to try them or if you like that um to to get a you know special yarn that is a solid color and then hold an effect what we call effect yarn together with it to give it that special you know pizzazz <laughs> um then this is a uh, shop you should definitely check out um do they typically adjust the shipping that is listed per item if you buy multiple? I know it probably depends on the store. Yes, it is. Uh, so I'm just asking in your experience if you have... Yeah, some of them do, some of them don't. Um, that is... Um, that's the best answer I can give you. Um, some shops have... Um, they increase the shipping... So if you have, uh, if you buy an item like, uh, uh, um, and you buy five of it, they will just multiple the shipping for the five items until a certain amount. So until you, like you get to 10 and then the shipping will be a certain amount. So like they will multiply under 10, but over 10, the shipping will remain the same. That's some of the stores. Some of the stores, have free shipping <laughs> um and some of the stores um have like um levels like grades so uh, under a certain amount so they will say this is an item that's 50 grams in weight so if you get 10 of it um then it will be uh 500 grams and under 500 grams it will be this price and as when you add more and the uh, package will be over 500 grams and the price will jump just like with um, ice yarns or hobium for example so each store has their own calculation method um, I have come across more of the stores that do the per item so um, 
multiply with items until a certain amount and over a certain amount they will just have flat rate um, that's the majority of the stores that I shopped with um, but I also have to admit that I tend to filter by free shipping and go for uh, I won't if there's an item that is available from two stores I will opt for the one that has free shipping I won't buy an item just because it has free shipping I will buy the item that I want to get um, but some of the items are available in more than just one store so you can see some that are similar um, and then if you have the same item in two stores I might opt for the one that has free shipping um, hi Chris welcome in um, okay so um, we spoke about how to you know filter the results and then uh, we spoke about what to look like when you look at a certain item uh, how to read the item page to know that you are getting what you uh, are trying to get and we said the key is always in the reviews and look for reviews that has pictures in them um, that is always the key and then we spoke about how to find good shops on Aliexpress that you can follow and keep buying from the same shop. Um, what do you want to look at when you look at a shop to know that it's legit and that you will actually get what it is that you're trying to get. And I didn't show any, you know, shops that I have something bad to say about because I don't like to do that. I don't like to say don't buy there. Um, but I did mention what you need to look out for. So of course, if you come across a shop that has everything opposite from the things that I showed then obviously this is a shop that you should stay away from <laughs> um makes sense considering the postal fees big companies are more like yeah but there is one thing that I want to say about Aliexpress um to date and I have ordered a lot from Aliexpress but up until today not once have my packages stopped in customs and I have been asked to pay fees for them so a very large amount of those items already have tax calculated in them and they put it on their shipping labels so that you won't have to you know pay extra taxes on your items uh, which is something that i think is really good because if you buy the set of hooks that i showed you for the price that we showed on the website that, what they cost and that already includes the taxes <laughs> so it's just a like really a ridiculous price right <laughs> um okay so i hope that i answered you know any questions that you may have had and any fears that you may have had with shopping with places like aliexpress um and i hope that you have learned what to look for and what to look out for <laughs> what to be aware of um and yeah check out the shops the link is in the description box below uh if you don't want to shop at these specific shops but um like generally on aliexpress um i would appreciate it if you use my link when shopping on aliexpress there's a it's a um affiliate link and it's in the description box below um i literally get sent so i can i can show you i i have showed it once here in yarn university when someone asked me and i have showed you guys um the report from aliexpress which is like when someone makes a purchase of two euros i get like 0 0.002 cents <laughs> like something like that um so it's really like i i seriously i don't live off of it um but i would appreciate it every time you send you know helps the channel it all goes back into the channel um you're on alley a lot but still um taught me new stuff thank you i'm glad i'm very glad uh that i could um and i hope that you guys you know all found it informative um don't forget if you've missed uh the uh, beginning of today's live um there were a few announcements at the beginning of the live so once you know we get off here come back and watch the replay of the beginning um just for the announcements um, did you put the link or the name for the hook set in the description box? No, but I did tell you guys the name of the shop when I was showing it. Um, it was the... Oh, what are they called? I keep forgetting the name of the shop. It was in the um, Kayan store. Um, I think it's the second one from the top. Um, if I'm not mistaken. Um, was it? Wait... It was either Kayan or um, was it Wendy's? 
I think it was Kayan, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but I did say, like, right before I showed them, I said the name of the shop. So, um, so it's it's in one of the shops that are in the discussion box below. <laughs> um, hi! Hey, my brother is here! Hello! Yes, the announcements! Go back and watch the announcements. <laughs> there were some. There was some announcement at the beginning. Um, uh, mainly uh, things that you should uh, probably go and check out. Um, so yeah, just to remind you all that if you were thinking of getting the May edition of the Yarn Club, uh, you probably want to do it within the next four hours <laughs> before the sale on Etsy ends. And uh, check out the new merch. Yes. Um, Yes, it's a good alternative. It just takes longer to ship. <laughs> All right. Any questions before uh, we finish today's Yarn University? And I thank you all for being here. Um, you can ask now. I will remind you that upcoming Sunday, there is a live, a new thing, something new that we have been cooking behind the scenes. Um, it's not Yarn University, but it will be at the same time as Yarn University. It is not replacing Yarn University. Yarn University will be back the week after on Sunday. But uh, starting this month, once a month, we will have that, whatever it is that uh, will be happening here on Sunday, um, once a month instead of Yarn University. So I invite you all to come and find out what it is. <laughs> I hope that you will like it. Um, okay, so thank you all very, very, very much uh, for being here on Yarn University, even though um, it was not the regular time. I highly appreciate it that you all uh, stopped by um, and, and said hello and listened to me blabber, even though we are uh, on Monday and not on Sunday. <laughs> Um, again, I'm sorry uh, that I wasn't able to be here yesterday, but uh, life right now, life stands in my way like 80% of the time. Um, yeah, don't forget to come back, leave a comment down below. It doesn't really matter what you uh, leave a comment today, but we will choose a winner for that on Sunday. And the prize I showed you in the beginning, the mystery bag of unclaimed prizes. <laughs> um... Yeah, so thank you all very, very, very much for uh, joining me today. Let me just open my beer before I say cheers. Um, I highly appreciate uh, all of you coming here. And uh, I hope you all have a wonderful week. I will leave the chat running so that everyone uh, can say goodbye. But if you haven't yet, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And I will see you all next time. Bye.